We have some breaking news right now. One construction worker was hurt in this fire at the site of Worcester's new high school. This will be the Doherty High School on Highland Street. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live on the scene with the very latest, and I know we just got an update moments ago, Ken. Yeah, we did, David. We are here on Highland Street, and obviously it's still a very active scene. Now, we're being held back for obvious reasons, but we're going to push in here where you can see this complex under construction. It's actually four buildings that go to the new high school, $316 million worth. Of construction began last fall, and it's scheduled to open in January of 2024. All right, let's go to some pictures we have from this afternoon because they're really spectacular. It's a little bit after 3 o'clock. When fire officials say foam roofing insulation that had been brought up and put up on the roof somehow caught fire. Apparently there was welding going on in that area, but they're not sure that was the cause at this point. So the fire went to three alarms. One worker was hurt. They went to three alarms so they could call in extra firefighters because of the heat and such. It was put out, and now they're trying to assess the damage. So I asked the fire chief if this is going to delay this project. I can't speak to the uh, the amount of time it'll be set back. It's probably in um, you know relation to the entire building, a small area, but it will be some delays, obviously, in um, trying to assess the damage and then see where they can go from there for the to replace what's been burned. So he said they'll figure this out over the next couple of days, uh, whether uh, this project is going to be delayed. Also, construction has been put on a temporary hold. They're going to reassess that tomorrow morning. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind here is that this complex is being built right next to the current Doherty High School, where about 1,600 kids go to school. They had all gone home for the day, so none of them were around, and we're told that they will have school here tomorrow. For now, live in Worcester, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. All right, a lot of moving parts there. We'll stay on top of it. Ken, thank you.